Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Astrology with Z. I am your astrologer, Zarina. We want to continue to celebrate Leo birthdays. If it is your birthday or if your birthday just passed, congratulations and happy new year. If you're President Obama, yes, he just had a birthday yesterday. Congratulations, Mr. President, and uh, many more to you, right? Okay, guys, we're going to talk about a couple things today. We are in Leo season still, as I mentioned earlier, and we are going to talk about what that means as far as the quality of the sign. And this is called a fixed sign um, I would like to discuss with you where fixed signs are in your chart and how to identify your strengths and where you can lead okay so jumping right to it we have Leo as our first fixed sign the reason why because we're in Leo season and what does that mean so in your chart when you have a fixed sign you are a perfecter and you're also a fixer so anywhere in life where you've set out or created any kind of paths or any kind of goals you want to be some Someone that's going to see that goal through and the fixed signs are going to be Leo Scorpio Aquarius and Taurus and I know I just said them all but I want to go through them and just make sure that you guys know where they are in your chart and how to maximize their um, strengths so Scorpio is going to represent our regeneration so many things in life can bring us down death um, debt sadness just in general maybe things not going our way but when we look at Scorpio or this fixed sign we kind of see a way to push through things not going our way and kind of see our way out of it so we come back in Scorpio to our soul or our inner self and we kind of meditate and try to figure out what are we doing that's either hindering or helping us and then we maximize on that by using our strengths in order to push through whatever um, is kind of hindering us from within um, this could be be in a way kind of enhancing our self-esteem really um, okay so in addition to this we also look at our mortality when we look at Scorpio as a fixed sign and um, when we look at that we are looking at a weakness a physical weakness and then we're either taking better care of ourselves or we're kind of like surrounding ourselves with people that are more um, supportive of us okay um, our next fixed sign would be Aquarius now Aquarius is an air sign and it has a lot to do with what's in the air, what's going on with electricity, what is motivating us in that way, our hopes, our dreams, our wishes, right? Um, even our friends and the elders in our lives, they kind of are going to stay the same in this fixed sort of pattern because these are the things that we're working towards in life. Um, Aquarius is actually the ruler of our 11th house, so it's kind of like in the downtones or as we're wrapping up our lives, we feel more Aquarian energy. Um, and Aquarius is also a really great sign um, to think about when we think of our friends and having a lot of friends because even though it's a fixed sign, it allows us to kind of have the freedom to go out and find friends and this fixed energy kind of keeps us in the mix keeps us always looking for new people to kind of energize ourselves with and um, that is a beautiful thing right okay our next and final fixed sign is going to be Taurus all right so Taurus governs our possessions what do we say we have uh, we can have talents or abilities Taurus is a very um, Venus governed sign and actually when we look at it we look at it in terms of how much money we may have or even like our income or our values um, and these are things that really don't change throughout our lives necessarily they could change in the way that we express them but ultimately we value um, what we value you and then we work towards it throughout the course of our lives as well um, we could also find ourselves sort of um, being like finishers of projects and stuff through these particular signs or through these energies so um, if you look at say Taurus and your father has a business of some form and you're helping him um, and say he passes the business on to you there's a value associated to that um, associated with that rather and so we're looking at the ability to kind of have some longevity and see that particular profession through through you uh, where your father would be passing on something to you and that's also income and a whole bunch of other components that kind of fall into that fixed sign energy um, with the fixed signs you're always going to see determination you're going to see where you're headstrong you're going to see where you're powerful um, you are also going to see a little bit of stubborn energy as well and a bit of rigidness and why because you are the guys that stick to it and see things through so if you have a sun sign in any of these four signs you're definitely going to have some staying power in the 
this life. Um, and then also, if you'd like to know where these signs are in your chart, feel free to contact me. You can check out the credits at the end for the proper spelling of the website, but it's GlamorousHealth.com and um, I can help you find out where you can lead and where you can be powerful and where your mortality is best used in your life, okay? President Obama is also a Leo, so he's a fixed sign, and the royal baby George is also a Leo, and he's a fixed sign. And oh, one more thing about little baby George is that we may also see in his future more of his talents being displayed and less of these instances where we see royals acting out or you know things like that that kind of like put them in a bad light he will be um, exhibited in a very positive light and he will definitely be highlighted for his talents so we'll see like what he can do and it'll be very interesting to watch him and I look forward to it um, this is Astrology with Z. I'm your astrologer, Zarina, and I can't wait to see you guys next week. Have a great one.